Merrill Memo with Matthew Dickerson from Dubbo Regional Council. Matthew, tell me a bit about this uh, new podcast. What's it all about? Sounds exciting. The podcast is all about just making sure we get information out to the community. One of the things that I did say to the public when I came back onto council and then was elected as mayor was that we needed to increase those levels of communication. I don't expect every resident across the entire Dubbo Regional Council, LJ, to agree with every decision of council. We live in a democracy. People have got different opinions and that's all fine. What I think is absolutely critical is that we have good levels of communication. I want to make sure that the residents know what's going on at council, understand what's going on at council, Disagree, agree, that's fine, that's all part of that democracy, but at least have the understanding and the information to be able to be aware of what's going on. And also, if you want to give feedback through to councillors, then being able to have accurate information to be able to give that feedback is all part of that equation. One of the things that I think is fantastic is that I do do lots of interviews with various radio stations, DCFM for example, I do interviews with DCFM and DCFM is very generous with time, but still in an interview about mayoral items, usually it's a couple of seconds, 30 second grab on the news or maybe it's a 8 or 10 minute interview on one of the shows but it's really hard to really explore lots of details about an issue or a number of issues with that short time frame. And I understand why the various radio stations only allow a certain amount of time. I, that's fully understandable. But the podcast, because it's not controlled by an uh, external organisation, because it's controlled by effectively me, I can have those long, in-depth interviews and have those long, in-depth discussions. So each podcast each week, goes for over an hour. It explores the issues of the week. I've got Mark Barnes doing the interview side of it. He's got license to ask any question at all. We don't cut any questions. We don't skip over any hard questions. So it really is a way for the community to be fully informed about what's happening on council. You mentioned the issue of communication and I believe um, the whole issue of council transparency uh, was a big problem with the previous council. Is this something you're trying? Is this a wrong you're trying to right in a sense? I think you are right, Sam. I think there was certainly a perception with the previous council that people didn't know what was happening and decisions were made without a lot of information coming through to the community. And the community was rightly concerned and confused. And there are a number of those issues, a number of those questions that spring to mind. The lack of fluoride in the water, for example, that seems a terrible situation to have where the community was not informed about no fluoride being put into the water. A $5 million pipeline to nowhere, a $5 million smart water meter rollout that didn't go through council and didn't go out to tender. All these different things were happening and they're just three simple examples of, of a huge magnitude but there were so many examples like that where the community didn't know what was happening with the previous council. So you are right, there is certainly part of that from my perspective to make sure the community is informed because that's a really important thing. I don't own council, the councillors don't own council, the community owns council so I think it's critical for the community to know what is going on. Thank you, Matthew. Have a good day. Merrill Memo with Matthew Dickerson from Dubbo Regional Council.